Hello and welcome. In this video, we will be considering connection design of the uh, members that consist of this uh, steel uh, bridge successfully. Just like this. So we have the base plate and then the access steps right there as well as the railing and other uh, connections just the way you are seeing will be uh, considering in this presentation. Let us get started. Then let me close this. Okay, so we navigate to the drawings and report tab right there, and then you click on Protar Steel so as to move uh, the model from the interface to Protar Steel interface. But before you do that, you have to make sure the model is being analyzed and designed successfully. So you see in the building analysis icon right there, I'm a green check, meaning this model has been analyzed. You get back to drawing and report. Click on Product Steel. Just once, give some time, it is going to load and transfer all of this uh, model to Prota Steel model where we carry out all the industry connection of this steel bridge successfully. You close this, and here is the project. We proceed from here, okay? So, at first, we will be looking at the base plate connection. Mind you, if you have not joined, a group chat you can see the link in the description of this video okay so for the best plate connections you come over to best plate connection so you see various base uh, plates right here with stiffener okay this can be set successfully okay so you just click once on it so after you click once on it you click on the station so it's going to be placed successfully just like this all right so i have already set this successfully okay so most of these uh, designs are been done in our master class okay the you know settings have been done in our master class so i advise you to join our master class as well so you enjoy all of this and how to get this done effectively so after which you can just have to get to the miscellaneous where you have a you have a, the uh, anchor boat so just click once uh right click and then select the plate to have the anchor uh boat in place just you can see so this is what is going to happen to uh, uh, this uh, other uh, base plate and the rest of the you know pedestals. Okay, so as to connect the station uh, successfully to the pedestal. But for this one, it is going to be manual, right? We manually model this, okay, successfully, right? So let's proceed for other connections. So the next one I would like us to consider is the access steps. Okay, so for the access steps, you will uh, navigate to where you have um, the provisions of uh, details. Okay, so once you got here, you see stringer. So just click on it once. You pick the first uh, stringer and the second one to have the access steps. So the same thing is applicable here. Okay. So this is not a uh, I see all right so this is how you place the access steps okay to these uh, platforms successfully so the same will be applicable in both site all right i only want this video to take longer time so i will have to also just to show you how you can carry out uh, some of these connections uh, successfully and then we proceed okay then for the railing you can't come to this uh, auxiliary steel work okay so you see the railing there and red so click on it once and then you have to select the members you want to actually insert the rail on so select these members and then you right click you can pick the first point okay and then the second point to define the length of the rail so you have something like this so you can proceed to place your rail just like this okay that's it All right so that is how you round as well I placed the uh, rail successfully. The next thing we we'll look at is the um we will look at the fin uh, fin uh, plate connections. Okay, how to connect these uh, steel members successfully. Okay, the stations and as well as the beams successfully. It's for you to do that, you will have to navigate to depending on what you are connecting. Okay, so there yeah, is a connections. Uh, for beam to beams, okay, and also beam to columns connections, right? So, for instance, we want to get this connected uh, columns and this beam connected. 
successfully what you need to do you get to the build to column connections options and then you can try some of this connection anyone that is suitable you can use successfully for instance fillplet these options i can pick that right and then i will select the extension first and then select the um, beam stringer so after which i have to you know right click to activate the connections okay so you can see it's been connected successfully just like this you can see right so the same thing is applicable to uh, other connections like um let's connect this uh, stanchion to this beam okay so we also used this uh, particular connections or let's change it to this one so if you pick that you can easily select the extension okay because that is the primary members and this is the second members right click to insert okay so you can see it right there so the same thing is applicable you can also use this um beam to beams uh, angle clipped okay for this particular connections as well okay for instance if i update this this way right over here I can use this as well. So I pick this, select this and this one. Right click, see it's been connected successfully. So let's see right there. Okay. So here we go. So for this one, see this connection right here. Okay. Uh field plate can work here successfully. All right. Also in these provisions, uh field plate will be perfect. Okay. In these provisions. So if you want to proceed, you can also check this. Okay, this is film plate game two game. Okay, so and then we have also film plate. Okay, columns two game. All right, so we can use any of these two in these provisions, and they will work fine. For instance, pick this, select this beam right there, and I select this one. I right click right there to insert the connection. So you can see it's been uh, inserted successfully, just like this and more than okay. So we proceed for other steps okay we will navigate back to the detailing options these options right here so always just select this once give the two stringers okay to have that okay select list successfully let's see right so the same thing applicable here you pick the stringer holes with this two place that Plus this you can also proceed with the with the railing okay proceed with the railing so pick the railing select the members x1 so we want to start from this point up to this point right here to have the railing right here okay so the same thing applicable here okay and then uh, you proceed from the railing section okay so this is not correct so select the micro right click and delete that off yes options okay then you install that again make sure pick the right two points to have this okay so now if you check in this uh really at this uh, herbal uh provisions what you do you use this android connection so just select that this one and this one then you see it being connected by this okay so we we'll proceed to place the railing successfully pick this one select this right click and to the first point all the way second point use the android connections are a good uh, handle okay so this is what you get all right so after which the next thing is to look at the the, this part of this uh, bridge successfully this part of this bridge what you do is uh, you see this uh, uh, these two uh, members connections all right what you have to do you need to navigate to where you have um where you have um, brace uh, connections okay trust okay trust connection this okay so select this we will use where that type okay so 
after we select this beam and then select this pipe right click right so see you can see it went dead successfully uh, very modern you can now see it's been went dead successfully all right so this is what you do to all of the pipes successfully okay and as well for these connections okay you can get to beam to column connections and see how to carry out that successfully uh, this is beam to column connections successfully okay or you can as well proceed to trust connection so since this is a trust system uh we can use also these uh, connections right here or we can use this one okay any of these two connections may work effectively right here okay so we can use this wedded pipe for the top code of the trust system so just select it right there pick this uh station and then the beam then right click so this has cut this beam so you can now see how it trips and weighted it to this uh, column successfully so uh the auxiliary micros right there you can always select this provision to the right of that so you can see how modern this is now okay in this end okay so for this one we can still use the same method which is this and this all right so if you do this now you can see it's been trimmed and weighted successfully but this is not uh, i think this may not be that stronger okay so we may choose to use this uh, trust end plate okay trust end plate with good set uh provisions right there so if i undo this right there i can pick this one and then select this and this one i click and then i have something of this kind right which we now need us to really provide some additional provisions in order for us to have this board okay this board is successfully to the stanchions and then i believe with these connections and this one okay this part of the bridge can be you know solid in terms of uh, stability right so the same process you use with all of these provisions okay to be able to get the all connections done successfully okay we have carried out some of these connections uh successfully as you can see all right so if you want to have a kind of a castrated st uh member castrated st members you will have to come to the detailing tab this provisions detailing okay so for the castrated you will just have to click on this so it all depends whether what you want the castrated with stiffener so we can see the uh, multiple stiffened web uh, opening so we can select right there to create that so as soon as you can see so just like this okay so if you really want it with a stiffener you can just have to right click on these provisions and then you have this okay so once you have this you can be able to look at the placement and as well as the geometry okay and then the stiffeners so if you really want uh, to have a stiffener plate so you can also make provisions here to get right of the stiffeners successfully okay so after you must have done with your settings right here you click on the okay and then proceed so that is how you can actually be able to you know create a castrated uh steel uh member just like this okay then the other things are the best plate which i've explained earlier i will also proceed to you know actually insert more of the base plate so you just select this and then select this distances to have that just like this okay just as i said earlier sorry that's a mistake so pick that point that one okay as i said earlier uh we are going to be modeling this okay this particular one so i will draw a light and how you can model a, a kind of a base plate here okay in a minute okay so the same thing just have to place this one successfully right so after which you can as well give it a an anchor boot which is the same process okay so select this and then right click click here to insert that select this right click click on this to insert that successfully now i want to throw more light on how you can uh, actually uh, design uh how you can actually design a base plate for an inclined beam on top of a pedestal just like this so what you did is the plate so you just have to select the plate and then you just pick the four edges of the four edges of the pedestal to first place the uh, first plate just like this okay so now if you as you can see right here you see that um you know this plate is being embedded you can use control uh w okay to 
take it up or take it down. All right. So this uh, implying the string is supposed to sit directly on the plate successfully, but you can see that the plate itself is being embedded inside of this pedestal. So you have to do some cuttings. All right. Okay, so for some cuttings, if you want to do a cutting, you, see, you have to go to edit tab and then you can see polygon cut right there. So you can pick that one. Okay, so the depth of cut, you can just use, uh, let's say, 500 right here. Okay, so and then use general. So you need to select path and point. Okay, so uh, the path you want to cut, so this option, click on it right there. The path is the pedestal, so select the pedestal. So the point you want to uh, Cut actually, so you have to define it. So I pick that first point uh, just like this. So you define the path you want to cut, okay? All right, so you can see this has been uh, cut successfully. So now that you have cut this, um, you will notice that the depth of cut we entered only ends somewhere here, so it, it does not cut the whole of uh, the pedestals that have this uh, plate uh embedded successfully so what you do just have to undo right okay get to cut again this time around don't use 500 let's go by 1000 millimeters depth of course select that select the pedestal okay pick this first point second point uh just as i said earlier you will learn more of this in our master class successfully okay so you can now see that we have got this successfully okay so having cut this you can proceed to wait uh, the stringer, glass stringer to the place successfully, or you can proceed to start to place a, a board, okay, on it, okay. So to place a board on it, it depends on the numbers of board, the position of board that you actually want it to uh, place, okay, successfully. So after placing the plate, you can see you create a holes on the plate. It all depends on the numbers of uh, board you want to have, okay, for, for the sake of this video. I've created uh, uh, about uh, altogether six holes, right? So now there's no need to create it in these provisions. I can just copy this to that point. What do I do? I have to go to edit right there. So you can see copy, uh, copy right there. So you can select right. So, yeah, then use copy by entering distance, copy by select, uh, selecting uh, two points. So we we'll use that options. So I want to pick it from this point. I want to pick it actually from this point. Okay. Um, or to this point, but before that, I have to activate these micros, okay, the cut, uh, um, auxiliary micros, okay, after which I will get everything selected, but the cut auxiliary micros and the plate right there, just like this, and then I use the, uh, my two points cut, okay, so I pick that, uh, the top most, uh, edge of this plate, just like this, all the way to this point, place it right there, so you can see, uh, what is happening right there? If I deactivate this, uh, cut my cross, you see. So we still have it just like this. Okay. So you can now see if you want to place the anchor bolt right there, pick the anchor bolt, right click right there, select this, place to insert it just like this. You can see. Right. So this is how it works. All right. So you can as well do the same thing here. Pick the anchor bolt, click, place it. Right. Like this, you can see. So this is how you provide a kind of anchor bolt for an inclined. Uh, you know, stringer like, like this, okay. So you can, it depends, you can choose two of this board or you can as well uh, choose three of these successfully, right? So uh, if you have any question, you can drop it in the comment sections right there. And as well, you can join our group chat and be able to ask any questions that is bothering you in the group chat. The link is in the descriptions of this video, all right? So I wouldn't mind like to repeat this, just go copy from here to this other site, copy from just have to just copy right and you get everything done copy this to this other end okay i use it as well okay so this is all we have covered in this uh, presentations okay i will also advise and invite you to join our master class okay in protesting and concrete design okay we'll stop here and see you in the next presentation stay safe and stay connected god bless you bye for now